name is Rena Mo Money, and welcome back to the channel. On the first video, we basically talked about um, skills that were needed to be a real estate investor, a successful real estate investor. Um, but for this channel, it's going to be steps in getting your first wholesale deal. So <laughs> that you subscribe, subscribe now, click the bell so you won't miss the good stuff that I got for you. Number one, first step is to set up your business. Write this down. Matter of fact, everybody get a, a tablet. Get a tablet and a pencil because this channel will be jam-packed with nothing but tips, um, tools, resources, and all that good stuff that you'll find. So again, get a pad. Go ahead and take a second, get your pad. I'm gonna wait a half a second. Gone. All right. The number one thing you want to do is set up your business. When you set up your business, you're, you're creating your name, a business name, a business email. And if you don't have a business email, just use your regular Gmail that you have. That's fine for now um, um, because you're not going to be running or hiding from anyone. You're going to be developing relationships throughout this entire journey. So it's okay to have a regular email. Just make sure it's an email that you don't mind people looking into or that you already have. So that can save you some money. Use your regular Gmail. So you're going to set up your LLC, um, which is a business. Um, I'm not an accountant and I'm not a, a financial advisor, but I would say this with the LLC, um, if you do single member LLC, it don't protect you from some things. Um, there's a lot of things that it will not protect you from if you're a single member LLC. Again, that's something for you to discuss with your accountant, but just for this video's sake, we're going to just talk about the steps for the first deal. And if we need to add some other things on um, going a little deeper into certain sections, then comment, let me know. Matter of fact, comment and let me know what you would like to see next. Go ahead and take some time out and do that for me because that helps me out. Um, and it helps me to know what, what you want to see um, because I'm a wealth of knowledge and I'm ready to give that and just be valuable to, to you all. So your number one thing is to set up a, a, a business. You want to set that up with the email, telephone number, um, website if you have the money, if not, don't worry about it, and an LLC. Make sure that the um, business is not in your name. If your name is, um, um, whatever your name is, don't set up your business in your actual name. Let's look, it, it'll be a lot more professional if you do not do it that way. Step two is to choose and learn your market. Yeah, what I would recommend is that you start in your backyard. That's what I tell people, start in your backyard. You know, you're gonna see deals, great deals in Alabama. You're gonna see great deals in South Carolina. Yes, I've invested in South Carolina. I've invested in Georgia, but start in your backyard because matter of fact, my first deal in Georgia uh, was a piece of land and I wound up selling that thing. I had to, it was a, actually, it was a loss. Um, and that's another thing. I want to be able to um, walk you guys step by step so you won't lose or make some of the mistakes that I made. Again, I've been in real estate since 03, so I'm trying to um, um, teach that knowledge and, and just get you to understand that um, there's ways to save you money and there's ways to make you money. And then you can make more money. Then you'll be at more money and more money. So, again, going back, step two is to choose and learn your market. And market is your area. Um, 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 and, and narrow it down. Don't just say, I'm going to do Florida. Do your backyard. If you live in Miami, do Miami. Don't do Miami, then Tampa, and this just because it's near and it's in Florida. Choose your area. Choose your backyard. That's what I would recommend. Now, if you're in an area that um, it's just like so many real estate investors, maybe go next door. But don't go around the block. <laughs> don't go down the street. You know, maybe go next door. Um, and what I mean by that is maybe the very next city over. Try the next county over. And if not the next county, then the next city. So choose your market. And when you're choosing your market, you want to choose a market that you can tell that demand is there. And most of you guys are over 16, so I already know that you've learned about, you know, demand, you know, supply and demand, supply and demand. So um, um, hopefully you're in a market. If not, there's ways you could create that demand there. There's people out there that need help. There, there's people that you need to solve some problems for um, in this real estate. They need to do something with that house. So um, again, I recommend you stand in your backyard. 
and choose the, the market that you're in. So number one is to set up your business. Number two is to choose and learn your market. Number three, I mean, if I'm looking down, number three is to generate leads. Yes, you must generate leads. And there's different ways to generate leads. First of all, you want to find motivated sellers. And that's something that we're going to go over um, on this channel as well. Not on this video, but we will talk about motivated sellers and how to find the motivated sellers, what to say to the motivated sellers, how to make sure that you actually convert that lead, you know, which is a skill that's needed. You need to know how to convert that lead. So number three would be to generate leads. Um, and again, like I said, we'll have a video coming out on that. Um, step four, calculate offer price. You got to learn how to know if it's a good deal. You need to know how to calculate an offer price. Um, um, you need to determine if this is um, a property that you want to put the time and energy into. Um, and, and that's something you'll learn. And I'll teach you that as well because we'll have some videos on how to determine if it's a property to walk away from. A property maybe you can use another technique on um, and I made that mistake before too no I used to <laughs> I used to no matter what I'm gonna make that deal work but sometimes you gotta let them go so you gotta know how to calculate because it's numbers 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 in this number five step five is to make offers don't be afraid to make offers don't be afraid don't be a scary cat you gotta have some guts in this game I tell you because it's definitely that there's there's a lot of competition out here in this real estate game so you must make offers um, um, get out there so if someone asking for this make an offer on it you know um, do your quick research do your quick quick analysis and I'll teach you that too we'll have a video on uh, analysis and, and learn how to boom 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 and you can make that offer within one hour we'll teach you that we have one hour offer and, and all you need to know is this now there's books and books on how to make an offer, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it the easiest way, the easiest and fastest. I should have named this video the easiest and fastest way. But um, make offers, make offers, you must make offers. Number six is execute the contract, execute the contract. Um, here's a tip, as investors, we're not gonna call it a contract when we're talking to sellers. We can call it contract when we're talking to attorneys, when we're talking to the title company, when we're talking to other investors, when we're talking to everybody but the seller or the homeowner. Um, um, uh, because it's, the word contract is a little scary, but we'll get into that. That's just a quick tip tool so you can put on the side, highlight that. Um, um, you want to execute what we call an agreement. So when you get ready to talk to them, you have an agreement. So you want to execute the agreement with the seller. Um, um, the seventh thing is to open up escrow. With escrow is what you use, whether you're using a title company or an attorney's office to close the deal. Um, escrow is like this account uh, with the title company or the uh, attorney's office. And again, you know, if we need to, we'll break that down a little bit more. I just basically want you to get the steps on um, doing the first wholesale deal. Um, this eighth thing is to find a buyer. You must find a buyer. That's going to be key and important. That's a whole nother tool as well. Um, 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 and I'll teach you how to find a buyer. Um, and that comes with marketing. And then once you have this buyer's list and, and show you how to get a buyer's list, but you got to find a buyer because that's where your money comes in. Once you find that buyer, that buyer is the person that's going to be paying you your assignment, which we'll talk about. Uh, step 10 uh, is to close and get paid. So be sure to um, be sure to um, uh, uh, make sure you have all your steps in order uh, as you start to get your first wholesale deal. Again, running down the steps, we'll have step-by-step -step videos on uh, each of these areas. And we'll start with marketing because marketing is going to be key. Um, again, this is more so the fastest and easiest way to make money and make more money and more money. Um, um, so again, start out, get it ready, get your business going. And, and, and once you do that and say, okay, well, arena more money, I got my business going. I got my business name. I got everything set up with my EIN number, my phone number that I'm going to use, whether it's a Google voice number, set up your Google voice mail, all that good stuff. Just be prepared and ready. Matter of fact, we have some scripts on that. Once you have all that and you choose your market again, just go in your backyard. You're going to start right there at your Duval County courthouse. You're going to choose your market right where you, right where you are and start generating leads. Um, generating leads is, is, is pretty intense um, because it starts with marketing and we'll get into that again. Okay. 
Um, I'm doing a quick recap. I'm looking back at my notes again, so forgive me. Um, I write everything down. That's another thing you start doing. So every time you log on um, your, 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 your Google uh, and you start to do your lessons and learning, every time you click on the uh, bell and you, when, once you get the bell and you click on to Reno More Money Plus, once you click on our videos, have a pad, have a pen. Um, I know I'm pretty old school with that, but it will really help. It'll start, it, it's motivational, it's inspirational, and it's educational because you could be able to go back to it, you can write in it, you can draw on it, you'll be the only one, you can scratch out, you can highlight. Um, just always being prepared and always being ready for the knowledge. Again, this is Reno More Money Plus. And we are going to get ready to blast off the next video. Let me tell you about the next video. Um, I think we're going to do the next video on perhaps um, maybe how to do the paperwork for um, a wholesale deal or either marketing. We might, might, may mix it up. Matter of fact, just look for both of those next and up and coming. Look for the uh, marketing and the paperwork. So by the time you're done with step by step, you should be able to make more money. More money more money. Again, thank you. Subscribe. Subscribe now and see you on the next Rena More Money Plus video.